Greetings, YouTube from Lubbock, Texas. I am actually meeting, I think you're only the fourth person I've ever met. We, we actually started, I had forgotten that we were going to connect outside of this game, and then we just happened to have, even though we both don't believe in coincidences, the same interest in MCOC. But if you've ever seen Beyond the Mic, Sean Dillon, either in the comment section of my live streams or just in general, uh, he interviewed me a couple years ago, did an amazing job. Uh, he is here next to me. I'm staying uh, with the lovely Israel as a guest in his house. So say hello to the people, my friend. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 806. The 806, which hopefully doesn't stand for how many people in Lubbock have all their teeth, because in Stillwater, I think that would be the 605. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably rounding up. Um, so we don't cuss on this channel because we're family friendly. So I'm just going to have the title of this video contain a WTF. Because there were some uh, choice adult words that were sent to me, most of which I haven't been able to look at yet because I'm technically on vacation until tomorrow. But uh, we have this new Alpha and Basic Catalyst bundle, which my man Sean over here is Cavalier and logged into the game. How long has it been since you played? Over a year. Over a year. So long that they gave him a gift relic bundle. As a reminder that relics now exist, because when he stopped playing the game, relics didn't exist. He also got all the different compensation packages uh, that people got for playing the game that were just in his inbox. So that was as fascinating for me as anything. But you remember Tier 5 Basic and Tier 2 Alpha, correct? Yeah, I, re I remember those. And it would cost, what, 20 bucks, yeah. 40 bucks just to get them. And what are they charging now for this wonderful, wonderful piece of MCOC trash? Well, just remember that there's a new progression level last year, Paragon, which is above Throne Breaker. I call it Wallet Breaker. Um, so normally, even for Paragon players, although I think this is for Throne Breakers too, a Tier 2 Alpha costs 60 units. And a Tier 5 Basic technically costs 240 units because half of one is 120 units. And so, you know, you can think about this in regards to like a $5 purchase being maybe a couple hundred units on a good day. And so, Kabam has decided to do something very strange. So, the market is reset for uncollected and Conqueror players. But uh, besides this, they want to get... They're basically giving Paragon prices to uncollected and even Conqueror players, but for cash. So half of a Tier 2 Alpha, or excuse me, half of a Tier 5 Basic that used to cost 120 units now costs $3, and that is limit 10. So you can buy for 30 bucks you can buy five tier five basic, which is six bucks a piece. Now, do you think that's a good deal? NBT, nothing but trash. <laughs> nothing but trash. Now you're talking about how Oklahoma State ended their football season. Or how Oklahoma <laughs> State's going to finish their football season this year. Yeah, I think the flags, <laughs> the flags are already at half mast and we're in the preseason. What's really interesting, though, is Conquerors get arguably the best deal because Conquerors – get a Tier 2 Alpha for $2, which for what? them, yeah. What? <laughs> that thing used to cost like 100 bucks back in the day. Uh, so that's another WTF. By the way, I'm not saying necessarily this is the worst thing you've ever seen. It's just so random. That's what's bringing on the surprise. And then for $1, I remember when these things used to cost 20 bucks. you get a Tier 4 Basic, and it's not a selector. If this was a selector, which I think Kabam should have done, it would be genius. But it's not. It's a crystal. And yet, this is the current state of the game. This is essentially a company that is desperate enough for microtransactions from players who are, at best, the middle class of the game, but at worst, still newer players. I don't mean that to be offensive to newer players, but they're trying to get people who maybe won't spend $5, certainly won't spend $50 on that, or even $30 on that, but they'll say, okay, instead of buying a Peter Parker's wallet, 
for five bucks, maybe you'll buy one of these for three dollars, two dollars, or one dollar. So this is like the thrift store bargain bin of the game. And this we've never seen this before. So how ironic that the day that I meet you in person finally is the day you get to see this. Boy, I'm so lucky. I'm not sure I can handle the excitement of the offer. So, so, so here's a question. Yeah. I haven't been on in close to two years. Right. Is the game worth coming back to? I'm Cavalier. You see, you've seen my progression level and, and where I am and with the people that I have. Is it worth coming back? For knowing how little time you have in your spare time now, it's for you, I'd say no. Okay. I'd say no. Uh, now, if you aren't married and you don't have a job that takes up you know 100 hours a week by itself, and that's probably being generously low on some weeks, I'd say maybe. But this is – I think a lot of people are in your position. I think a lot of people haven't played the game uh, as much or haven't spent as much as they used to spend. And so Kabam is trying – forget the the $30 offers. They're trying $3 offers. Forget the $10 offers. They're trying $2 offers. Forget the $5 offers. They're trying $1 offers. This is a sign that Kabam needs profit more than ever, even though I still think the offers are the, – though they're resetting the, these items for these uh, progression levels, there's still things you can just get with units if you grind a little bit without spending – even a dollar of uh, unit man or credit card. So, does that make sense? Kabam, just give us a, give us more stuff. Give us better stuff. Kabam's response is, please give us all your money, all your money, all your money for for things that um, would have been amazing a few years ago. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think the tier two alpha is fair. I think the tier five basic is, I guess, less fair, but still technically okay. It's still an F, though. Yeah, I mean, they're desperate. That's the bottom line, and that's what I see here. Thanks for hanging out with me, Sean. We'll probably open a crystal if – well, it depends how if you get up with us before we leave because they reset at 2 a.m. and we're all going to be asleep at 2 a.m. But um, if not, thank you for joining me in this video. Thank you so much, Prof. Thanks for watching.